and maybe in near future, Department of Geospatial Technology. <coughs> as the geospatial technology is, you know, fast emerging as a study or a science, which includes geographic, geographic information system, remote sensing, and global policy system. So, the Honorable Minister has had to brief you about the upcoming event that is the second United Nations World Geospatial Information Congress scheduled in Hyderabad from October 10th to 14th. <coughs> so this five day briefing, this five day event will have many important presentations in the five events. There will be important job halls. So I also welcome yes, I also welcome our Secretary DSP Prayas Chandrakar, Mr. Dutta, all the senior scientists and officers from the DSP, and my media friends, those who are present here and those who are joining through the YouTube channel of the PN. So, first of all, I will request the you know, control room to play the brief film on the geospatial technology, uh, it is about uh, six minutes duration. Please. <coughs> history of mapping dates back to the ancient era. The planned cities of the Indus Valley civilization is proof that people of ancient India had knowledge of mapping. Through the ages, map reading in India continues to evolve and even prosper. But cartography really blossomed after the survey of India was established in 1767. Royal Navy officer James Reynolds published the first composite map of Hindustan in 1779 in the Bengal Atlas. In 1892, the Great Indian Geography Survey of India was started. During this period, district gazetteers were tasked with producing accurate maps of each district in India. The launch of the IRS one day in 1988 marked the beginning of a vibrant national remote sensing program in India. Subsequent satellite launches of the IRS series through the 80s and 90s helped India to develop an advanced remote sensing and geospatial knowledge ecosystem. The 73rd Constitutional Amendment provided the focus and direction for integrating geospatial technologies into local level planning. In 2019, the Indian government laid out the ambitious Vision 2030 to become a $10 trillion economy by 2030. Geospatial is at the core of this vision. The new geospatial policy enacted last year was a momentous example as it liberalized India's thriving geospatial sector, giving it a fresh impetus for dynamic growth. The draft space bill is also a step in the same direction. Leveraging the power of geospatial information and technologies will help India expedite its multilateral goals of financial growth combined with sustainable development. Geospatial systems can make Indian industry more efficient and competitive, as even Modi said. 2020 and 2021 have been seminal in the transformation of the Indian geospatial industry. The geospatial data guidelines, the drone crews 2021, and the draft policies in geospatial, remote sensing, and satellite navigation will liberalize, democratize, and commercialize the use of geospatial data and information for planning and monitoring requirements for any country and boosting entrepreneurship. The integrated policy reform will create an environment that promotes sustainability of applications and the amplification of impact, benefiting all the stakeholders. Geospatial has become the base for innovation in mission mode projects like National Infrastructure Pipeline, National Hydrology Project, Delhi Shakti National Master Plan for Infrastructure, Swami Fluski, Digital Olympia Land Records Modernization Program, among many others. The second United Nations World Geospatial Information Congress, scheduled from 10th to 14th October 2022 in Hyderabad, India, will highlight the 
own and governments for Jesus' influential against the three pillars of sustainable development, economy, social, and environmental. The theme, geo-enabling the global image, no one should be left behind, is very much as, as India celebrates our lovely cup of the world self. The memoration of 75 years of independence and the glorious history of its people, culture, and achievements. The Congress aims to facilitate greater collaboration and a shared vision to empower the vulnerable and marginalized communities across the globe facing existential challenges. It will reflect the importance of integrated geospatial intervention to support sustainable development and the well-being of society address environmental and climate challenges, embrace digital transformation and technological development, and catalyze a vibrant economy. Meet and listen to diverse people leaders and participants from governments, non-governmental organizations, international and regional organizations, international and regional professional bodies, academia and research institutions, groups, the famous community and civil society from across the globe, congregating at the historical city of Hyderabad. Hyderabad is a city with a rich heritage, composite culture, and a glorious history spanning 400 years. Change and flux have been constant companions in the vibrant journey of this city. From one of the world's few trade centers for diamonds and pearls, to a world class farmer, to a formidable technology hotspot today, Hyderabad has preserved its ethos and the legendary cultures while ensuring a balance between creativity and the green adventure. Today, it is the geospatial hub of India. The Indian geospatial community looks forward to share experiences and learnings with the global community at the conference and contribute to the growing body of geospatial knowledge infrastructure. See you in Hyderabad.
the member states and the relevant stakeholders, which reflect the importance of uh, the geospatial information. As the movie shows, India started already mapping the boundaries and villages a long time now, and Survey of India, which is the organization, the DSC, is more than 200 years of existence in this country. It's also headed by, you all know, uh, the importance of uh, measuring the landscape. While uh, we are very excited to be participating in the second event, uh, we also believe that the Minister would be present physically there, will give us the guidance on how India is marching towards the geospatial economy. It is estimated that uh, this will create a huge employment, and many startups are going to flourish because of this data. And we are seeing how DSC and Service India are working very closely with the Panchayat Ministry on mapping the Abadi, which is also a true reflection of how India is using the drone technologies, the space technologies to map every inch and every centimeter of this country. I am truly honored that uh, this event is happening under this CG, and uh, we are going to showcase many activities on behalf of all the ministries at this exhibition. Uh, where the department which has Panchayat Raj, science and technology, the zones, different sectors, all of them are our partners in this event. And we do believe that uh, this will really showcase the power of India to the world. I'm happy to share that I was in Japan only three years ago uh, and we met the geospatial uh, head uh, there. And we are so excited to know that they are also looking at the new guidelines we have this show and how Japan and India can work very closely on the back end. I'm sure that this exhibition uh, will be attracted by the youngsters and also college students. They are keeping it open for many students also to come and visit those spots which we are staying in. So I also invite all of your friends to be in Hyderabad with us and share the exhibition details, including the lectures and seminars that have been conducted there to the world that India is being showcased at the city. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, we'd like to request the uh, Honorable Minister sir, to have his uh, remarks and followed, uh, it will be followed by question and answer session. I would also uh, like to request uh, you know, the uh, uh, science and technology lead reporters uh, to uh, present this because it's due to link has been shared with you. If you have any questions, please WhatsApp me on this uh, you know, number so that I can put that online question also to the Honorable Minister sir, or to the Secretary for the answers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, welcome, friends. Uh, sorry, I didn't bother you on a holiday. Uh, Sunday, I will not be here. But nevertheless, I will be in a uh, to be explaining to you the importance of uh, the event that is coming up. And yes, it's a problem. It was high time we should go ahead with this kind of a deep meeting. Now, as you will recall, it over the last 18 and a half years, ever since the Minister of Modi took over, there have been a, a series of path breaking decisions out of box decisions. Some of them can be break many and can be looked in past. And the area which we are dealing with is one of those. For example, it is Prime Minister Modi who took up the initiative to unlock the space supply. So, all these years, for over 70 years, Space was functioning to handle the needs of the city. It has now been opened up for the last 20 years, and I'm glad to know that we have more than 60 startups already in place. So, ever since it's been opened up for the private sector. And continuing in the same way was this geospatial initiative, new guidelines, new guidelines for drones, and they already were having drones, drones were being developed. But the condition, the regulation was such that we have to have it only in the country, even in Lanai. So, planning time, the people would have to go out there. So, in an era like this, where India is now a part of the global world, and they are actually living up to global benchmarks in a very commendable manner, I think we just need to think of a way to get out of that mindset and status quo, which again, in the old design history, we have to do. Guidelines for geospatial data, no more than 2021, and uh, the dark policies of geospatial remote sensing and such like in Now, what is this geospatial?
picture all about this uh, your picture is perfected to put it in a single place and I think it is connecting people who are just trying to visualize it. So all we see put together. And uh, as Dr. Shaker was mentioning that we have a huge survey project going on a huge partner survey which you have seen in there are only just over 350 acres set up by Britishers over 200 years ago. The largest acre was done by the Mr. Everett, also known as the founder of the city's name. But now you don't think I don't think we need to do that kind of land because everything is done in a small city that we will trace the cost. So we have you know, graduated to such an extent. And therefore, the, then the challenge and the possibility and the, also the opportunity is how best to use this technology to improve upon our working and make it more successful. So I'm glad during the first five years, Prime Minister, we already have the tropical program going on, we have the Rati Shakti, and now the mapping of the village, the mapping of the road already has been more than uh, 35 lakh uh, kilometers. Roads have been mapped and so on, so far five lakh villages. So, in a short span of time, ever since uh, this new village was created by Toronto Prime Minister, we have today. So, from that point of view, today we are in a position where we can share our best practices, our experiences with the rest of the world. And while Dr. Jamishakar and Tambuji were saying that we are very excited to host, I would rather add to that saying that the world is very excited to be hosted by India. Because around time has come that the world is looking up to us. Because not only because we have uh, now a technology which is of the world class, which is equal to India, but we have an advantage of uh, dealing with indigenous conditions. So, none of the European countries, even the homogeneous, maybe your homogeneous condition will have the opportunity of mapping 77 or 75 or 7.5 lakh villages, some in North East, some close to the ocean, some in Himalaya. Some. So, the kind of experience that we have is itself a great teaching and learning for the rest of the world. So, that's why we the other countries not only look forward to be fostered by the Grand House, which I don't think Dr. Jamesaker and team are actually, I'm sure, going to offer them. But besides that, also a huge uh, piece of knowledge uh, they are looking forward to. And it uh, also is a matter of uh, honor for us that the, the United Nations World Geospatial Information Congress, which is now the national UNWGCI. So the second one, the second is to be hosted in India. And uh, we'll carry on this uh, trend. In the years that follow in 2023, we are going to have E20, we are going to have mission innovation on the concept we will present in the US this year. So, in other words, India has not only become a favorite destination for technology exploration, but also a destination for technology learning. And we are on the years to look forward to it. And uh, uh, we have also already had some of the successful research which we found in the village mapping, which we can at least showcase to others. And uh, if you go through the book that we are providing, this uh, scientific program has been very diligently planned. We have a plenary session which will be in the sustainable development goals. We have the panel session which will be strategy. And uh, now that uh, the world is actually, the UNO is actually looking forward to sustainable growth, I think this is one area where we could contribute to geospatial knowledge. And uh, most of all, and yes, uh, as uh, was being mentioned, we have geospatial job art and state of art. So that will also be dealing at two levels, the community level as well as the village level. At the community level, they have identified dark colored industry models. So that is also something really which is which we can offer to the world. No other country in the world can offer. So I think that is what we have to the time has come, we have not only to prove our excellence before the world, but at the same time we have to have to <coughs> our exclusiveness, which also gives us an exclusive identity. And uh, as uh, the Prime Minister has been repeatedly indicating on this call, the next 25 years, I think it's 
also an opportunity for us to, to streamline the next 25 years. How we are going to delegate to the next 25 years to reach the end of the street. And to also prepare a voice to accept us as that, which we have already done. So the world is ready to accept us, but it's up to us to live up to that. So I think this is one. Besides these geospatial, we have a few other problems with that, which in India uh, and yet another pillar in the, in the side of parameters to determine the, the, the nation's standing in the, in the, in the 20, 21st century world. So I'm glad this is uh, uh, and I think one of the reasons to hold this small meeting is that uh, we look forward to a good uh, coverage because fortunately or unfortunately uh, they are not the ones who are very much uh, you know, uh, taken up by the media because they hardly use it even, so they don't need it. So, so they don't have the opportunity. And, uh, so I wish gradually as we evolve, we also evolve into making them do it. And you can guide us how best we can, you know, make news in the mainstream media. Thank you very much. Friends, now the floor is open for any questions. We have seven eight. We'll start at uh, So how has the industry embraced uh, the indigenously gendered map? Are these maps uh, available for navigation on the mobile phone that we use? There was some issue with uh, uh, some mobile companies uh, Using this data for the data to the original data generated by the startup is more descriptive and also seeing how the data generated by the legitimate among the industry So this is a well accepted data. See, now I am taking what you said, well taken. Now we will be in a stage when we discuss this. Is the industry taking up how best to motivate industry to do that? But I can visualize tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the after tomorrow. Industry will come and take it up. Because when they find an easy source, most cost effective, because nothing tempts industry more than cost effectiveness or profitability. So this is an easy, accessible, and very economical source they get. And I don't think now we are into an era we can keep so much of confidentiality about this data. Only thing we have to be very accurate, and our data has to be accurate. So you said that there are, there are 60 startups in space sector, space uh, 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 program. Uh, can you uh, elaborate uh, a little bit on the different verticals in the space and the amount of business that they have been doing? And do we see a unicorn in that? Yeah, actually, I wish, I think sometimes we can have a productive tour or something. If you visualize, then opportunity or unfortunately, our space department is uh, headquartered in Bangalore. Uh, not in the national capital. For legacy reasons, it was to start by Sarabhai, who suddenly passed away in the middle of a night and somebody had to take over. And the then Prime Minister then asked if he is the one who is already having tied down his uh, work in my work this weekend. Because it, 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 it is an amazing experience, a huge learning experience. Uh, it's not only for those who are dealing with science planning or dealing with science models, even for any common Indian. It gives you a huge sense of pride in the industry. We are actually now, and, and then I come to the start of the thing, we are into the latest uh, OA in space technology. We have now started even dealing with, with the space craft. In the Swachata we here, we are dealing with debris. We are dealing, today I accidentally launched the Swachata uh, one just before this program to clear out all these slabs and even the pending files. But we are now in space, but are also dealing with space space. We have over 25,000, you know, satellites.
life of a volunteer to do that. That every step uh, requires to be not only for the eating of the meals, but also sometimes to cook meals or bread is not eat that so far. So we are all in here now, technology in place to deal with that, and why I am saying so is that a startup group came and offered to you know be part of that. So we just started out. And the, the Indian, some of the Indian startups are so passionate and so forward looking. They actually want to move half a step ahead of us. So we have to tell them. And there's so much of motivation there. So we told them we just got into technology industry. They wanted to be private partners. So they are huge enthusiasm in startups. And uh, some of them, I think, don't have the views in the US. Out of 60, I think 20 of them have already got connected with the industry as well. And we have uh, startups in all age groups, beginning from class 10, 12, and from all parts of the country. I mean, earlier on, we mostly confined to South India, because now we have uh, boys and girls from all over India. Thank Talking about this uh, geospatial technologies, so about five years back, uh, FICI had a had a conference where the archaeological survey they were celebrating their 250th year, and uh, that time the Ministry of Science and Technology was also involved. There were a lot of panelists, but uh, right now I feel that uh, whenever these uh, Congress information Congress is being held, so uh, is the archaeological survey of India going to be the premier agency, and are the Industry uh, players, you know, the chambers are they joining in, sir? Yeah, after Sanjay's India is also part of the activities in our country, but the major uh, collaborators which are basically in the space team because they are going to provide the spatial pictures of what we are having the satellites now, and drone industry is one major partner. So, IT is also involved. Thank you. Ten to fourteen in Hyderabad. There is a pre-event. No, no, no. We are not going to do that. Not on that morning. We are not going to do that. We are 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 going to do that. Yeah, actually, just to give you a little more detail, uh, on the Prime Minister, uh, which is formally addressing all the participants on the Elements uh, Army, and uh, on the last day, 15th, we will have a uh, recording ceremony there, and we will also have Hyderabad reservation. And this event has geospatial uh, uh, information uh, plenary session. Then panel sessions will discuss on the integrated geospatial information framework, uh, which has been planned for 10 panel sessions, by the way, 10 panel sessions, uh, to accommodate uh, so many countries who will participate and share their ideas and how they partner with us. 
Yeah, that uh, good book looking at this. Uh, so, you know, actually, there are around uh, like now like it's 115 nations from let's say the UN uh, part of 115, and uh, today we see uh, around 550 uh, participants from other than India. So that's a very respectable number, more than just 115 nations participating. Uh, this is cost of growth. Why you have chosen Jharkhand and West Bengal only and what about the other rest of the country? This is a program that you can showcase because the focus of the US at this time was on the indigenous communities benefit and the school benefit uh, young generation. So this is one of the examples to be showcased in the chopper. But they say uh, about the whole world in the, uh, indigenous community related program is discussed in the main uh, session. Right. Okay, they not only the other places in Jaipur because they were concentrating in Jaipur. Like they have also Naomi in the Jaipur. Some of the geospatial success stories. Swami is going to be a huge success story for the world. Yes. Because no other country has such a huge number of villages and different topography. I'm going to change the entire world. So our coffers are full, sir. You are getting more revenue by all that, Swamitu? Are you getting more revenue? You are able to, you know, take the... <laughs> Now look forward to Indian 
uh, input as seriously as maybe three decades back in India also before. So we are now second to none. Many of the NASA functionaries there are from India. We are holding a conference with second UN World Leaders Actual Information Program. So, no person is from the geo part. Like, nobody is sitting, nobody is in the conference. We are all in the conference. We are all the organizers. So we are the organizers. So we are the organizers. You are giving a live conference, like giving live seminars. No, this is a U.S. World Geospatial Information Congress. So the question is that the geo is basically being the earth. How the technologies are going to map the earth, water bodies, forests, the light is coming from that side. Yes, we can live stream, but we don't interact with it. Geospatial is the theme. We host the Department of Science and Technology. We do that for the city. I think that's the answer. So thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful sharing of this event. I think that as we move ahead, the sense we used to have all the permission with the video. And all the officials that are, you know, invited to join us uh, with lunch at the boat. Please.